Hey everyone, welcome to the Weaster 18 channel. I am the Papa Weave and it is Monday, March 15th, season two, episode four. I want to start off guys, I just want to start off by saying if you guys watched the last video, you all found out that my dad, Frank Siddell, Grandpa Weave, he passed away, uh, passed away last Wednesday. Had a pretty bad accident, pretty bad fall, and he lost his life. I just want to I want to do a quick shout out to everyone out there, all the subscribers, all you guys that watched that video and made all those beautiful, beautiful comments to me and my family. I thank you so, so much. The feeling of love you guys gave me and my family was tremendous. It really, really, really made us feel secure and happy about the situation. Maybe we got through it a little easier with all the, the support from you guys. So I just want to say thank you. And I also, I want to read... I want to read a little something to you guys. We're going to have the funeral on Thursday, May 18th. I'm sorry, March 18th. He would have been 90 years old, my father, 90 years old. And we're going to celebrate his new life. He passed from this earth, but we're going to celebrate his new life up in heaven at his funeral, and this will be read at, at the funeral, at the church, and I just want to bring it to you guys, and I want you guys to listen, please. All you supporters, all you followers know these, you know them, you know them well. What is a father? A father represents honor, pride, strength, love, and compassion. He gives guidance, is a teacher, keeps you in line, and is a provider. Most of all, He's a friend. My father was all of these things and more. He was a loving man and a man of great faith. His love started with his wife. It stemmed down to his two daughters, his son, two son-in-laws, and a daughter-in-law, Mama Weave. His seven grandchildren and three great-grandchildren. His love was apparent as he always spoke highly about his family to others. In turn, he was loved by many. He was a comical man always ready to have a great time and a few jokes. His talent in sports, fishing, and the culinary field was appreciated by all. As we sit here today in grief, the loss of this wonderful man, we all need to know that this is not the end of his life. This is just the beginning of a life with God and eternal peace. He now will join his relatives and friends that have also left us. We will miss him deeply for all we have now are the memories. I'll never forget you, Dad, and the lessons you taught me. I love you forever and forever I will.
I just want to say that for all you out there that made the comments, the beautiful comments, and lots of you stated you lost a father, you lost a brother, I want you to know Papa Weave is praying for you guys that you may keep strong through the hard times that you're going through. And you will get through them. You will get through them with the support of many, just like you guys, just like you guys did for me and my family, support the loved ones that are going through these times. And it'll give them the strength to get through. You can't fight a war without an army. And if you have that army, you have support. You have that backing. And you will, will get through it and live your life. Continue living your life. All right, guys. Back at it. We are back at it. The old Kermit the Frog is the animal for March. Okay, so we got three submissions. Again, same people. Same people are submitting and and sending in their drawings. So we're going to start right away. Third place, she does some cute drawings. I love it. The frog, eh, the frog may be eating a little too many flies or something. He's a big frog. He's a big frog. May have to check out some diets. Um, Season two, episode four. And third place, Anna Lee Jaquez. Great job, Anna. Great job. All right, second place. Now, this is the whole family. First, second, and third. They send in their submissions. I am so behind them. So proud of you guys for doing this, for sending in these submissions and keeping this art channel going. And I wish, if you guys are viewing for the first time, if you're watching this video, hey, when you're saying, what's going on here? What is this? Uh, it's, it's a channel of a peace. It's a channel of hope. It's a channel of, of motivation, inspiration, uh, all, all, uh, derived from my son, Stephen Siddell, the Weefster 18, uh, passed away from cancer and he was a great artist and I am continuing his legacy. And this is the art contest that we have here. Every month is a new character and this month is the frog. And if you're watching, please Send in a drawing. Send in a drawing. You can send it to my uh, to my email. It's in the description box. It has my email, and you send all your drawings there. And I love to see them. Love to see them. Okay. Season two, episode four. We have in second place. Uh, she does some great drawings. I think she might have taken second place overall last year, for the entire year. But she does some beautiful drawings, uh, the color, everything, everything. She has all the qualities I look for in, the, in a drawing. Um, and she says, listen to the rhyme of the falling, I'm sorry, rhythm. Now, if you're watching also, if you're also watching this channel for the first time, I am raw, I do not edit, and I will make mistakes. I will make mistakes just like life, just like life. Are we perfect? No. If you're perfect, you know what? Send me a video. I want to see what your perfection is because no one's perfect out there. No one. We all make mistakes. That's why I wear these glasses with the one handle because they're not perfect. But, like I always said, they have character. I can trust them. I call them my trustees. I can trust them, and they're there for me, and they fit perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Listen to the rhythm of the falling rain. Second place, season two, episode four, is Elizabeth 
Perot. You can see the father frog, boyfriend frog, holding up the lily pad for her. <laughs> that's, some, that's some great art. I love it. All right. First place, season two, episode four for the frog. Ah, oh, man, this guy's great. I wish I could meet you, man. I wish I can meet you and talk some art and stuff with you. You do great stuff. You do really good art. I love this. I love this for first place. It's on a it's on a flower petal. The eyes are so realistic. So realistic. The frog, it's almost like I, I can hold the frog here like this. It, it's so real. And he's saying, don't worry, be happy, right? It's another thing in life. Don't stress out. Don't stress out. Be happy. Don't. Don't worry. I love that. A lot of color, too. Proud to say in first place, ep uh, season two, episode four, JP Jaquez. Check that out. That's some cool, cool art. I love it. All right, guys. That's it. That's it for the uh, for the. Frog drawings for today. I want you guys, you're watching, you know you can draw. I get the comments from you guys. Send them in. Send in your in your drawings, and I'd love to see them. We have one now sitting for the next video. I need two more just to show uh, for the competition. All right, guys, and again, again, on the last video, I am so, so, so pleased and, and, and felt so much love from you guys. It's almost like we have a little family now going for the Weefster 18 channel. You guys are backing me up. I think we got, I don't know how many likes, a thousand something likes. And you know what? No dislikes. That is, that is such a beautiful thing, which warms my heart, warms my heart tremendously. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video, video, video. And everyone, please have a great day. And always remember, peace out.